Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how to use a free currency switcher plugin on your WooCommerce website. Using this plugin, your customers will be able to pay using their own currency. If you are selling your product in different countries, then your customer will be able to pay in their currency. So this is the currency switcher. Here you can see that I have a drop down option and if the customer wants to pay using USD, they can select USD. They can also select Euro. So there are many different currencies that they will be able to use. Now, if you want to set up a fixed pricing for different currencies, then you can do that also. In this example, the price of this product is 150 rupees and I have set up a fixed dollar price of $2. Also the Euro price. If I go to edit this product, you will see how I have set up the fixed prices for different currencies. So here you can see that the price in Indian rupees is 150. The regular price in USD will be $2 and for Euro it will be 2 For other currencies, I have set it to auto. So whatever the current currency rate, it will change to that currency rate automatically. So let's see if I select Canadian dollar, I have not set up any fixed price. So it, so it will show the current price rate there, 2.46 Canadian dollars. So you can also set up the fixed price rate for each product or you can set up auto price range for each product. It will also show the price of the product according to the country of the customer. So let's see if the visitor is from United States then it will show the price of the product in USD automatically. So the customer do not need to change it. It will show the pricing according to their country automatically. So in this video, we are going to install this free currency switcher plugin. And I do have the pro version of the same plugin. So I'm going to install the pro version also. So I'll show you what is the difference between the free plugin and the pro plugin. Definitely there are some limitations on free plugin. So I'll show you what are the limitations and how to use the currency switcher plugin on your WooCommerce website. In one of the previous videos, I have already shown you how to use the free currency switcher plugin. That was the Wooks currency switcher plugin. In this video also, I have shown you how to use the free and pro version of the Wooks currency switcher plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch this video also. And after watching both the videos, you can decide which plugin is good for your website. So let's see how we can use this free currency switcher plugin on the WooCommerce website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install the free currency switcher plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. The name of the currency switcher plugin that we are going to install in this video is a YAI currency. So just type in YAI currency. I'll give you the link in the description box. You can check the link in the description box. So this is the plugin EI currency WooCommerce multi currency switcher. This is one of the best currency switcher plugin. It is very easy to use. I'll show you how to use this. Click on activate. I do have the pro version of this plugin also. So in this video, we are going to work on the free version as well as on the pro version of this plugin. Okay, so the plugin has been installed and here you will see UI currency. Click on settings. Now you can also see the YAI currency under WooCommerce tab. So you can go to WooCommerce and then you can go to YAI currency. Now we are using the free version of this plugin. Here you can see that using a free version, we can use three currencies out of which one is already used. That is Indian rupee because the currency setting on this website is in rupees. I'll show you go to WooCommerce, go to settings. And here you will see the currency currently enabled on this website is Indian rupee. So that's why it shows Indian rupee is already used, already in use. Now let me add another currency. 
let's add United States dollar. And here you will see the current rate of Indian rupee and dollar. All the prices set on this website is Indian rupees and it is going to convert Indian rupees into the United States dollars. So this is the current rate of the dollar versus rupees. If you want to set up a fixed rate of conversion, you can also set up a fixed rate of conversion. Let's see the current rate of Indian rupees is around 82. If you want to set the fixed amount of conversion rate, you can use that here under fixed. Let me show you the current price. Here you can see that 0 0.012 United State dollar and this is the same it shows here. Now here you can see that this sets the exchange rate of currency based on the default currency. Okay, now let's add another, let's add Euro. So currently we have added three currencies, Indian rupees, United States dollar and Euro. Let's click on save changes. Now next option is checkout options, enable it. And here you will see checkout in different currency. This sets the ability checkout in variety of currencies. Next is display options. Here you will see show on single product page. If you want to show the currency on the single product page, you can show that also. These are the settings. Let me show you the single product here. So this is the single product page. And here you will see the different currency options. Indian rupee, United States dollars and Euro. And it shows just below the short description. This is how it shows after short description. If you want before short description, it will show it here. Here you will see the customizer. This is the flag, currency name, symbol, and then currency code. I can make changes. I do, if I do not want to show flag, I can remove the flag. Currency name, I can remove that. So I'm going to leave it as it is, medium or small. Keep it on medium. Currency unit. This is the code. We can show the symbol. This is the rupee symbol. Instead of that, you can see, you can show INR. Click save changes. Next option is advanced setting. These are for the pro version. So we are currently using the free version. So let's go back and here you can see the product page. And from here, if they want to change currency, if your customer wants to change currency, they can change it from here. So currently it is 150 rupees. Let me change it to United States dollar and you will see the price in USD dollar. Now it shows USD because we have selected here under display, we have selected INR. Instead of that, I can show symbol, save changes, go back to product page, refresh it. And now you will see the symbol also. All right, now let's add the product to the cart and go to view cart. Here you will see the products are added in dollar. Proceed to checkout. And here you will see the cart is $6.13. So customer will be able to pay using their own currency. They can pay using PayPal or, or any other payment gateway that you have on your website. So this plugin is compatible with the payment gateways also. Now let's install the pro version of this plugin. So go to plugins and go to add new. I have already downloaded the pro version of this plugin. So let me upload it, browse, and I'm going to upload the pro version. Click on activate. Let's go down and here you will see that the pro version is installed on this website. Now let's go back to WooCommerce and Yai Currency. We will see what other options we have after installing the pro version of this plugin. Now here you will see that we have many other currencies that we can add. It shows duplicate currencies here. So I'm going to delete these. Okay, so we have three currencies. If I want to add more, I can simply select the currency here. Add new currency, Canadian dollar. It will show the rate automatically. Let's see if we can have Bitcoin also. Now it shows that the live exchange rate, the live exchange rate is not available. So you need to put the conversion rate manually. In case of this, you will need to 
put the conversion rate manually. So I'm going to delete this one. Add currency and here you will see that you will have many different options to select the currency. All right, so we have added some currencies here. I'm going to save the changes. Checkout options. These are the checkout options. So which currency you here you can set up the current payment method. This sets the ability to check out in a variety of currencies. Now let's go to display options. These are the same options here. Now let's go to advanced settings. And from here you can enable fixed product price for each currency. So on the product page also, you can set up the pricing for different currencies. I'll show you how does this work. Update exchange rate automatically. Enable it and after every 30 minutes, it will update the exchange rate automatically. After every 30 minutes, it's going to update the conversion rate. Auto select currencies by countries. So this sets the display currency depends on the customer's country. So let's say if the customer is from United States, then it will automatically set the currency on your website to USD dollar. If I enable it, you will see these options, Indian rupees, United States. For this United States, you can let's say select United States and it will show dollar for that country. For European, European country, you can select, let's say if I select United Kingdom, then all the customers from United Kingdom will see the pricing in Euro. Australia, I can select Australia. So for all the customers from Australia, they will see the pricing of the product in Australian dollars. So this is how you can set up the currency. Let's save it. Let's go back to product and I'm going to single product. Now let's go to edit product and let me show you how you can set up the product price, a fixed price for that product in different currencies. Okay, this is the product. This is the edit section. Let me show you the product first. The price of this product in INR is 150. And if I select dollar, then it is 1.85. Okay, now let's go back to the edit product page. And here under product data, you will see a fixed price that you want to set up for this product. Now this is INR for the USD. The current price is 1.85 according to the current rate of conversion. Now if I want a fixed price. So I'm going to set it to $2 regular price. I'm not setting up any sale price here for Euro. I'm going to set up two Euro. For Austrian dollar, I'm going to set up two. Okay, now let's update it. Let's go back to page. Here the price is 1.85. Let me refresh it. And now you will see the fixed price of $2. If you select United States dollar, it will show $2. If I change it to Euro, it will show two Euro. So this is how you can set up a fixed conversion on each product page also. All right, now let me show you the website of this plugin. This is the website EI Currency WooCommerce Multi-Currency Switcher. This is the pro plugin and you can see the pricing here. Single site, it is $49. For three sites, it is $99 yearly payment. And these are the features of this plugin. It says compatible with all major WooCommerce payment methods. I think this currency switcher plugin is very good. As I said earlier, I already published one video on free WooCommerce currency switcher plugin. That was Wooks plugin. And in this video, I have shown you how to use the free currency switcher as well as the pro currency switcher plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch this video also. After that, you can decide which currency switcher plugin is good for your website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.